Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I am playing with the new release from Nomad. I say new, but it's been out for a second and I lost mine in the moving shuffle, but I have since found it and we dove into that palette today to get a very green neutral look. But you guys, there is also a surprise towards the end. So definitely check that out if you're looking at a comparison between the Nomad palette as well as the new release from Natasha Denona, which are both in my collection, but there's some thoughts. Now you guys, before we jump into it, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications, new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. But if you want to see how I got this eye look using the new release from Nomad, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so today we are going to be playing with the Nomad release. It didn't come out recently. I want to say it's been out for like at least a month. This is the Okavango Safari. I'm so excited to be using this. Yes, it's a neutral leaning palette with greens and browns. We'll get into that here in a second. But I feel like the move just had me off kilter and then everything going on with the house. It's just, it's been bananas, honestly. But I love the details that Nomad puts into their releases. So the packaging, this is the outer carton. The actual palette itself is super cute. And then the details on the back. So they give you some details about the location, the coordinates, the inspiration, the big five. But it tells you that it's expressive safari huge shadows formulated with extra fine pigments for smooth blendability and intense color payoff infused with bobab seed oil to help moisturize and rejuvenate skin nine majestic mattes three stunning shimmers and three animal print shimmer swirls all inspired by the spectacular natural sanctuary of the okavango delta interesting i always feel like i learned a little bit of something because of their palettes and then of course they give you the postcard that comes with it let's see the destination feel the rumble hear the crash see the herd welcome to botswana's okavango delta and it's awe-inspiring animal kingdom the natural oasis that springs to life with seasonal floodwaters is home to some of the world's most endangered mammals sustaining the largest population of elephants on earth and robust communities of rhinos hippos lions and african wild dogs a safari to the Oka okavango creates once in a lifetime experience and supports conservation of this vast area and its precious wildlife. That is really cool. And there's information about the color story. And then they of course have their little message too. If you hear anything outside the windows, my neighbors are cutting their lawn. It happens. It's a little bit later in the day and I gotta get ready because I have a work volunteer event and we'll talk about that. But this is the palette. Look at this. I love the details of this. It kind of feels like fur, but it's just kind of a soft fabric in the form of leopard print. And I like the gold details on here. You have all the little animals. There is a lion, a water buffalo, is that a warthog? And a rhino. So each corner has a different animal represented. Oh, and the elephants in the middle. I don't know if you can really see the details. Now, the color story. This I think is perfect for what I have going on today. It is work related, but I'm still gonna kind of reach outside of my like normal work makeup because it's not an actual like in uniform work event. So this is the color story. I will probably use some of the greens, but lean into the brown shades. And look at that one. I cannot wait to swatch this palette. Looking at some of them, I'm especially like the animal print ones. I'm interested to see how they swatch and how they shift because you're mixing some shades. I could have watched a couple different videos, but I didn't. Um, and I've seen some videos where they're trying to compare this to the Yuka palette, which I also own. But I'm interested to see what I think of this. There are, of course, the pressings. Nomad palettes are known for pressings. And this one is the animal like hoof and foot prints. Why is it blurry? So very interesting. I hate to swatch it because I mess up the prints, but it is what it is. Okay, these swatches are beautiful. Definitely neutrals after my heart and everything. Do I think I could wear them to work? Some of them, not all of them. I don't think any of the shimmers I could wear to work, but the matte shades I definitely could. Now, there are some that are popping out to me going, mm, I need to use those. And one of them is 
Keystone Termites, which is in the second row, second one in. That has what looks like tealish green glitter in it, but that shade is absolutely stunning. And then Migrating Zebras, the actual zebra print eyeshadow in the bottom row, that when swatched turned like a silvery gray, which is really pretty. The shade Leaping Fletchless? I don't know how to say that word. Um, that shade is kind of like a rose gold leaning peach. It's very interesting. It spoke to me in the pan, but I'm not sure like, do I want to use that one? I really want to use Keystone Termites with some of the brown neutral shades. I don't know that I want to use the green mattes only because I think I used a lot of those in the Yucca palette from Natasha Denona. So I'm kind of wanting to lean more brown and then add in a touch of green shimmer. Let me go ahead, prime my eyes, and figure out my way ahead. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm trying to stay as hydrated as possible. I am gonna be outside tonight, this afternoon, and it's already, it's 80 degrees. It's also lunchtime. But I kind of touched on it on my last video, which was my get ready with me for my birthday dinner. I was talking about that today I had the Snoop Dogg concert. All right, let's start on this look and I'll explain it a little bit. I'm gonna go into the shade Pack of Wild Dogs. These like pressings are super cute, but I'm gonna use my fluffy crease brush just to disperse it a little bit and not have it so compacted. All right, so how I am going to the Snoop Dogg concert. I'm not going as like a concert goer. That would be a lot of fun actually. I could only imagine his concerts. I grew up listening to Snoop Dogg, Julio, Bone Thugs at Harmony. Like I grew up listening to that and I would love to go to the concert, but I also think tickets are really expensive, even for the lawn. But I have heard amazing stories about his concerts and the shows that he puts on. So as well as some things that I'm like, that might get me in trouble. But the command that I work for, we do volunteer. So what that means is we're gonna go and work one of the concession stands and sell beer and I think we sell food and stuff like that. I don't know if it's just the alcohol that we sell or everything else. This is my first time. I, I heard a sound and I thought it was so true. She's hanging out on her cat tree. I think it's kids outside. I thought she, it sounded like she was outside the door trying to get in, but she's asleep. So they volunteer for different concerts. And like I said, this is my first one. I've gone to the class that you're required to do because since we're handling alcohol and age limitations and all the important things, taking into factor alcohol consumption and how people act and all those things. But you only get to do the volunteer opportunity if you take that class, which I did like a couple months ago, but they give us the list of concerts that were available to like work at. So there's been a bunch of them and they'll fill up pretty quickly because people want to volunteer and maybe you like the music, but you don't want to pay for the ticket. They pay our command for us to work the event. I don't know all the details, how much money we make or whatever, but it helps us fundraise for things that we want to do throughout the year. And so that is what I'm going to do tonight, but there's requirements. Like obviously I can't just wear yoga pants and a t-shirt. Obviously I'm not wearing my t-shirt from Big Ugly Brewing. They will give us a shirt to wear. I think I have to buy a hat from them. It's like five bucks, no big deal. And then um, we work the event. So I love music. And I know from going and like purchasing food and drinks when I've been at like at the Chris Stapleton because it's at that same venue, you can still hear the music when you're working. So as we don't actually get to go and like watch the concert or like be out in the lawn and in the seats or whatever, but we'll still get to hear what's going on, obviously. All right, so I think I built that one up pretty good. I don't know how heavy I'm gonna go with black and dark brown. I think I'm just gonna use one other shade. I'm gonna use the shade Honking Hippos, which is the darkest brown shade. I think I'm gonna switch over to my compacted smudger, but this will be one of the first events that I'm working, especially with like standing for a long time. I don't know if we're gonna be able to sit down at any point. I do know that I've gotta take into consideration like how my back feels but I figured I would at least contribute because there's events that are gonna happen and I'm gonna benefit from the money that's made. So I will give back, volunteer, whatnot. And everyone's like, oh, it's such a great time. So I'm excited for that. Plus, you know what? If I get to hear the music, 
I'm not mad at that. But I'm also trying to stay as hydrated and as cool as possible. Why is my nose itching? Actually, I think this is like two videos in a row that I have done brown smoky eye. Because for my birthday, I did that too. And then get the little crinkles. And then tomorrow I'm gonna take it easy because <laughs> I have to pack. Right now I'm doing all my laundry and then I will pack everything tomorrow. I'm gonna go into the shade Keystone Termites. This I think I'm going to pick up on my middle finger. That's what that looks like. And technically I'm on leave as well, hence the fun nails. So that's the other thing is, yes, it's a work event, but I'm technically on leave so I can kind of get away with it. I still want to be presentable. Like I don't want to be like so out of regulations or whatnot that I'm distracting, especially cause it's, you're, it's still working. Granted, I don't always do like really bright in your face makeup. Sometimes I do, but I think this should be okay for what we're doing tonight. If they don't like it, I can go home and then everyone else can work it. I don't think my makeup is too crazy. going no extra product I'm just gonna go backwards on that brown shade and push it over a little bit all right let me go do this eye the rest of my face products and I'll be back to finish it off okay we've got to finish off the eye look and any base products that I used I will link down below with clickable links so definitely check those out if you're interested in everything but the under eye. I think I'm gonna stick with the similar shades that I have up here. Nothing too crazy. I really want to do like a pop of green or whatnot, but I'm gonna keep it a little subdued because it is a work volunteer event. So I'm gonna go into the shade Pack of Wild Dogs on my little compacted smudge brush. Pick that up. Nothing too dramatic. Into the shade Honking Hippos. This one is just gonna go a third of the way in. You guys, do you ever get cravings where like you're in the middle of doing something but you just cannot stop thinking about a particular food? For some reason, I've been like that about dumplings. I had picked some up at the grocery store and they've been in the freezer. But for some reason, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, man, I'm, like, I'm getting a little hungry. Mind you, I had just ate a bagel before I started filming. But for some reason, I was just thinking about the dumplings. I ate five of them. I gave the sixth one to Luke, but... <laughs> Does anyone else get like that where you just need a snack? And in that moment, I was just like, I, I can't finish without going and getting a snack. Really simple, very pretty. I also thought if I took time to eat a snack, my neighbor would be done doing the lawn, but he is, he's still there working on it. Really hope you guys can hear it. But if you do, sorry. Cannot control the neighbors. At least their lawn looks good. All right, for highlighter, well, the inner corner and brow bone, I'm gonna use the highlighter I did on my cheeks, which is the Cali Ray Highlight in Moonlight Beach. One of my favorites. I use this for everything. And this is the gold shade. I do have the cool tone, like silvery one, which is really pretty. But I got this one because it's a little bit darker. And sometimes I just need that in the summer. You guys, I've got to pack my makeup too for Orlando. And I know for the most part, like my base products, I have no idea about eyeshadow palette or anything else. The dilemma. But I think, don't quote me on this, I might be doing a pack with me for my Orlando trip. And maybe I'll show you guys what I pack for my makeup. Just because I know that I was checking to see, I asked my, I don't want to say her name because she'll activate, what the temperature was in Orlando. And on 
Wednesday. I think she said it was like 94 degrees and I was like, oh, it's not even that early. It was like 7.30 and the day was gonna be 94. I was like, that's what I get for saying we'll go in August for our birthdays. Okay, so we need brows, liner, mascara, and lips. And I'll be right back for the final look. Okay, you guys, I am back and this is the final look. I really like how my eyes turned out. The shades in this palette are very beautiful. I love this green shimmer. It kind of looks like it has, what is it? Like bluish teal glitter. I just, it's so sparkly and beautiful. I really love this. Now I kept thinking about while I was doing my base products, the Yucca palette. And everyone kept saying, oh, they're so similar. They're so similar. I actually just grabbed the Yucca palette and Sure, there's green shades in it. First off, different packaging. There is also a difference in price point. So this palette from Nomad is $42, and then the palette from Natasha Denona is $69. Now there's some differences in the shades. And I didn't think I was gonna be doing a comparison video, but let's see if I can <laughs> open these up and show you side by side. Because I would say Nomad is a little bit darker those are side by sides so that you can see. When I'm looking at this, Yucca is very green leaning. And then look at the shimmers. They're, they're just so different. Whereas with Nomad, you're leaning more on the brown side, neutral with pops of green. And then you have a smattering of shimmers in here. Whereas, so you have three green shimmers and a peachy one that leans green and then a graphite gray whereas in this palette you have bronze two green a brown and this silvery shimmer and the bronzy ones are really pretty as well so if you were wondering if you needed both of them do you prefer greens or do you prefer browns and what quality so i think that they're both very good quality eyeshadows and formulations but I also feel like they have different shimmer capabilities too. Nomad has very sparkly glitters in theirs. Whereas with Natasha Denona, I just looking at them, there's some shimmers, but then there's some that are very glitter heavy. It honestly just depends. Let me see, cause I'm looking at two of the green shades. So the shade that I used on my eyes today, which is Keystone Termites, this is that shade. But then they have one in the Yucca palette called Makia. They're very similar, but this one looks like it has more of a shift, whereas this is more flat with glitter in it. So it honestly depends on what you're looking for. See, I'm picking up more of the glitter in this one, whereas this is more of a shimmery metallic and even swatched. So this one is the Nomad. On my hand, it looks more like tan with green glitter whereas this is green with like yellow glitter and then we'll do the graphite and the silver so this one right here is natasha denona and this one is nomad where you can see the shimmer particles and this is more they both are very metallic very shimmery let's see we'll swatch them right there so nomad natasha denona and I can see the different lighting characteristics of the shimmers. Do you need both palettes? Maybe. Do I like both of them? Yes, and I think that they have different qualities. So it honestly just depends what you want in an eyeshadow palette. And also the affordability. What are you willing to spend on your eyeshadow palettes? $69 is the most I tend to spend on an eyeshadow palette. I have broken that rule once with Vanessa Myricks but usually I stay between $69 and $75 as like my max price point, and that's because Pat McGrath is pretty expensive and I have splurged on hers during like the holiday sale. Let me know your thoughts. Are you picking up either of these palettes? Have you picked one over the other? Were you planning on passing on them? I'm interested in knowing. I will also link my video for the Yucca palette down below in case you wanna go and see all the swatches, all the colors. I had no intentions of doing a comparison, but I was just, I just kept thinking about it while I was doing my makeup. Let me know your thoughts. But you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts either way on the Nomad palette, 
the yucca palette go check that video out but that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button down below hit the bell for notifications of new videos and if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up until my next video you guys bye i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.